I don't know about you, but as I have aged and I'm in my mid 40s now, my lashes seem to be disappearing. They're getting smaller. So I wanted to try to test out different ways to get more volume. One of the ways I thought is a heated eyelash curler. And I thought, let's see if there's a big difference between this and just your standard regular lash curler. And in today's video, we're gonna find out. Hello, thank you for joining me. If you are new here, hi, my name is Stacy. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming on back. I just recently got this heated one off of Timu. I am going to turn this one on. I have charged it. A box though that you wanna use this prior to your mascara application. So this is our old handy normal. I did that twice and I just counted to 20 in my head. The mascara we are going to be using is CoverGirl Lash Blast. The shade is black brown. When this part turns white, then that's when you know that it is ready. And it does feel a little bit warm to the touch. Okay, first time using this kind. I've used a heated one before, but it was a straight kind. Okay, I can definitely feel the heat. Turn that off. It does say that it turns off automatically after five minutes if you haven't used it. I think there is a difference. And this is the heated and this is the regular. I also got one of these guard things that I'm gonna be trying, but this side is to comb through your lashes after you have applied mascara. So let's just do that, make sure that they're both comb through. Let me put on another coat. All right. I think I could tell a difference. If this helps, I don't usually have too much trouble with transferring mascara to my lower lashes, but, and not on every time I apply mascara, but my trouble is usually getting it above. But this one, you put the tool like this, and then under, under your lashes, and then that's for that. I don't know if that's really gonna be easier or not. Mm. I'd say like unless you have a lot of trouble let me try this yeah I would say if you unless you have trouble with it transferring there that that doesn't really seem all that necessary for the bottom one I mean I guess more than transferring what I see it's very subtle but more what I see is that it there's no clumping or anything like it just gets it a little bit more even so I do have issues sometimes with that you know the top lashes so you're supposed to put this like that and then brush against it it's supposed to be so you can really coat those lashes without getting it on your eyeshadow I was worried about like the eyeshadow getting on here and rubbing off but we'll see like that. I think that if you have a really wet formula like the Lash Princess, Lash, Lash Paradise, something like that, then you do have trouble getting it on there, that this might be a helpful tool. Or if you have a mascara or have a little bit of trouble with stuff clumping because you can really like br take the mascara brush and really brush against here, you know, like you're just basically going like that to really brush against it. So it's 
definitely, you know, flattening almost the lashes and so you wouldn't get as much clumping it seems like, but I don't think that I'm going to use this with, this won't be like an everyday tool that I use. If you don't like the looks of how this one, you know, and like getting in there, but you still kind of want to know about heated eyelash curlers, the straight one might be for you. See how that one looks in this video next. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.